Hello, welcome back to the shop. In today's video, I want to put a wire wheel on my bench grinder. I got the wire wheel kit from Screwfix. I'll put a link in the description. Inside, you get a selection of washers, an instruction manual, and the wheel. Well, $9.99 it were. I started by removing the three small studs that hold the side cover on. The centre ring just slots in. As there was no way to hold, stop the wheel from spinning, I thought it'd be easier to take the other side off and put a spanner on either side. And then I find out that uh, the left side is right hand thread, and the right side is left hand thread. So that didn't help much either. The flanges were really stuck to the grinding stone. It seems straightforward enough. The washers that come in the kit, you find one that fits the shaft of your grinder. So in my case it will be them two, I think. And you get your two washers and put one on either side of the wheel. Ouch, ouch. And they're really sharp these wire wheels. Now if I put these flanges on the same way as it was on with the grinding stone like that, it's going to allow a void for these centre washers to come out. If you flip them over they're perfect but then it rubs on the side of the casing so I've got this old flange I think it's off a, off a grinder or something I'm going to drill that out and put the flange on to the bench grinder first to build it out right, I've done away with this flange idea uh, it just weren't working I just couldn't get it to the right size so I've got a nut and I've drilled it out so I'm going to use that as a, as a spacer. In hindsight it would have been a lot easier to go and fetch some washers. I put an extra nut on end to lock that one in so I can tighten that side up. I'm hoping that other side is going to be tight enough now so I can just nip that side up. With it being a left and a right hand thread, it's a bit awkward. And there it is back together. There's one or two little strands catching on the casing. Uh, I think that's because it's a new brush. But if you're going to do it yourself, you're definitely going to need some washers or some sort of packer uh, because it's a slightly thinner diameter than the uh, original grinding stone. Other than that, I'm quite happy. The reason I've done this is because my next video I've grown an assortment of uh, knackered chisels 
I want to see if I can put some life back into them. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget the thumbs up. I try and put a new video on every week, so why not subscribe? Thanks for watching, see you next time.